Hi everyone, I'm back with another view to update. Uh, here are some of my Persian cucumber. Uh, just over a week ago, they were only about maybe 12 inches tall, and now they actually double in size now. Now they're about maybe over 28 to 30 inches right now. And uh, the fruits are, are forming. And here, let me show you the fruit. It's about 2 inches long now. Plants are very, is very, are very healthy. You can see here the base of the of the plants is very big, huge. And look at this. And all the plants so far, the five of them are very consistent in terms of fruit production. Uh, if you look at the from the bottom up, about eight inches up, all the fruits are forming. So that's the first burst of growth in terms of food production, food production. So every plant I looked at, at least from about up to about 8 inches, there will be fruit. So every plant is exactly the same thing. Okay. Hopefully my camera can pick that up. And with the exception of the last two plants. Of course, here this one is the fruit is coming too. This two plants, uh, if you if you saw my last first video, uh, because it, it got some root shock due to uh, transplanting, so that's why it's a little bit behind. It's only about maybe 12 to 14 inches now. It's a little smaller than the rest of the game. And here, look at this. They almost half the size of the rest of the uh, other plants. The soil, everything is exactly the same. Uh, the plant, it seemed to be doing very well too, but like I say, it's lacking behind a little bit because it has some. Uh, uh, catching up to do, but the rest of the plants are ex doing extremely well. Uh, all the fruit production are very consistent. Like I say, up to about eight inches, the first burst of fruit that comes out. Now, one thing, interesting thing about Persian cucumber is that they do not require cross pollination. And I read it somewhere, uh, and from my experience, uh, I think it is true. Now the plant will produce both male and female fruit, uh, no not fruit, both male and female flowers. But as soon as you see the female flowers, like this one here, it will definitely become a fruit. So unless something drastically happens, it will abort the fruit. But in terms of uh, pollination, it doesn't require the male flowers. Now the plant does, reproduce, does put out male flowers, like here you see here. And I'll show you some more here. Right here. Okay, so here's a female flower, and here's a male flower. But the plant does not require uh, the male flower to 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 cross pollinate in order to form the fruit. So therefore, Persian cucumber is very productive. Uh, you get a very early uh, fruit set. Um, the fruit might be small, maybe up to about um, six to eight inches, about an inch in diameter. Uh, unlike the um, oriental cucumber that I grew that can go up to about 18 to 20 inches. But the other variety of cucumber require, like I say, require male and female flower and require uh, cross-pollination in order for the fruit to form. So here's see how beautiful the, the fruits are here. Look. Uh, and also prune off some of the growth to give them some more uh, energy so the plant can put more energy into the fruit production at the beginning. So once the plant have uh, established and well developed, I will allow some of the growth to come out, like this one here. So I prune off the beginning here, and then allow some growth to come out. And as you can see, I also add a lot of uh, compost and worm casting. That's why you see a lot of dark spot there. That's uh, a lot of them are worm cast. Okay, so this is one of my latest updates on my Persian cucumber and please tune in and please subscribe to my uh, video to my channel so thank you for watching